hello, hello, and welcome back to more Tsumigu Logic. I think this new chapter only has 14 pieces to it. Oh, wrong one. Okay, okay. Ooh. Only got 13. No, hang on. Two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. If we take the true route. All I have to do is not heck up. Oh god, there's two alternate endings on that one chapter. I have fear. Summer plan. The summer vacation is coming. Forget about zombies. Tsukasa told us this happily. This summer vacation. Summer vacation. Is there already plan? Oh, you're right. What are we going to do? It's the first summer vacation with many members. We're just three members. Do you have any idea? The university's summer holiday is too long. Let me think. Uh, trip, 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 trip. What about traveling? Traveling. If the members of the mystery club travel together, someone might die. <laughs> uh, please don't frighten me. But there's only three of us. It's impossible to have a killer between us. Yep, when one person dies, the suspects are just two of us. We'll have to be crafty in how we murder people. Ah, oh, wait. If we use the trick of the film Saw, I prefer a normal trip. Let's think about it until the summer holiday starts. We still have another month. And don't forget to submit your thesis and job hunting plan to the administration of the university. Okay. Oh, the job hunting plan. We must submit our own job hunting plans to the job support center by the summer vacation. Oh no, what should I mention in the plan? You must submit your love letter too. Oh yeah, I should give it to Kotoko. I put the thick envelope in my bag. Uh... Wow, that sounds really anticlimactic. Who's scream? From the next door. Was it Kotoko? I went to check. Kotoko was standing, sitting on the floor looking inside the travel club room. Her cosmetic bag and textbooks were spread around here. It seemed Kotoko dropped her bag. What's wrong? Look! Kotoko pointed at the room. What about it? Looks like a room to me. Oh. Nozaki was bleeding from his mouth laying on the floor. Oh shit! Oh my god! The stuff just got spicy! No wheat! What? No! Another chapter! Another one! I hope he's not dead. I mean, I really didn't like him so I don't care if he's dead, but I hope he's not dead. Nozaki! I ran to Nozaki. He was lying in the middle of the room. Nozaki's bleeding from his mouth. Is he sick? I'm gonna call the ambulance. No need. Diamond entered the room. And then she kicked Nozaki's head. Ouch! What the heck are you doing? Get up! Wiping his mouth, Nozaki got up. He looked fine. What? Yeah, me too. <laughs> Kotoko, you got really surprised. Yeah, you were fucking dead. What? Oh no. I made it. Ugh. Are you having fun frightening a junior member? You did this to get other members too before. Oh, Diamond. You're as beautiful as usual. Wait, did you kick my head? Yes, I did. Thank you so much. Ah. Uh. Nozaki looks different with Daimon from when he was talking to his sister. Well, I understood Nozaki's appreciation of being kicked by Daimon. Oh god! Hey, please don't scare me like that. Otoko started picking up her things off the floor. 
Tsukasa helped Kotoko. Oh my god. Tsukasa picked up the diary and screamed. Kotoko? Do you have a boyfriend? What? 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 Don't say that. I mean, she doesn't deserve Simugu, but... I don't want him to cry. 